Hello, everyone. Today, I will introduce to you this development board, which is a 4-inch screeny SP3 to S3 development board. The most notable feature of this development board is that its shape is a square. The application scenario of this square development board corresponds to the switch box on our wall. The switch box on the wall is a mounting box behind the switch or socket on our wall. This installation box is also square, that is, an 86 box, commonly known as an 86 box. 86 boxes means the side length of the square is 86 millimeters. A switch box of 86, 86 millimeters. Such a square development board can just replace or be installed on the 86 box to achieve the purpose of smart home applications. Let's take a look at the interface we brought. The interface on the screen is an interface for a smart home application scenario. This is an application of our development board. For example, we can use this development board. You can control our chandeliers and air conditioners or design an alarm for it in this system. You can also control the opening or closing of the curtains. That is to say, we can control many home appliances with one development board compared with our traditional switches or a socket or some other knob switches. Such a development board can be compatible with or replace the functions of many switches. It will be very convenient to use and very concentrated. We don't have to remember which lights or other electrical appliances correspond to which switches. We can use such a development board to replace our traditional switches. Of course, this development board only serves the purpose of display and main control. The circuit that actually controls 220 volts or a foreign 110 volts or other voltage standard circuit. We also need some relays and other related accessories to use with this development board. Let's take a closer look at this development board. The core of this development board is an ESP3 to S3 module. You can see on the screen that this ESP3 to S3 module is installed on the back of the development board. We can turn it over and take a look. It is the same as the picture above the screen. Such an ESP3 to S3 module has a metal shell. The black part is its printed circuit board antenna. There are some traces of the antennas on the printed circuit board. You can see JAG patterns inside. This printed circuit board antenna is what makes this ESP3 to S3 module and the entire development board with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth functions. This antenna can transmit and receive Bluetooth signals and Wi-Fi signals. In this way, our development board has the ability to connect to the internet. We can use mobile phones or other computers or other smart devices to control this development board. So as to indirectly control other electrical appliances or lights or other smart home devices. In addition, this ESP3 to S3 module is a module of our 1, 6, and 8. If you look closely, you can see that it is an R16 and 8 module. R16 and 8 means its flash is 16 meters and PS RAM is 8M. If you are familiar with MCU programming, it can be seen that 16 meters flash and 8 meters PS RAM are sufficient for the MCU development board. We can develop a more beautiful interface. Like the interface I just showed you, we can display a more beautiful interface on such a development board. Because it has our MCU as support, it can achieve such a purpose. The resolution of this display is 480 asterisk 480. You can also see in the video 
The entire display is very clear. The color is also brighter. Of course, it's because of the signal transfer or lighting problems of the camera. The colors and details may differ from what we actually see. In fact, the colors we see with our naked eyes are more vivid than those in the video. We can use a beautiful UI design tool. For example, Squareline or other Easy Studios can design a beautiful LVGL interface for our development board. Let this development board display a better UI interface. It is convenient for everyone to control smart home or other application scenarios. The LCD driver of this screen is GC9503. This is also a driver for a commonly used RGB interface. We can find the relevant driver code on GitHub or other open source websites. In addition, the manufacturer of this development version will also provide us with some open source or closed source code. The touch screen of this development board is driven by FT6336. This touch driver is a multi-touch capacitive screen. The drive is also very smooth to use. This development board has a micro SD card slot. You can see that this small metal shell is its micro's card slot. We can use the micro's card slot to install a small storage card. It is convenient for us to store data or pictures. If you use this development board to control smart home, we can write its log to the SD card. Then install the SD card through the card slot, including some pictures. Some daily information can be written in the SD card because the memory of MCU is relatively limited. Flash is only 1.6M, PS RAM is 8M. These resources are mainly used to program the entire development board and run the program. And some necessary runtime data used. If you want to store data, I suggest you use an SD card. This development board can support ESPIDF to develop. Of course, it can also support Arduino. If you are familiar with Arduino, you can see that Arduino is very simple to use for beginners or novices. You can quickly build a relatively simple one that you can know. But Arduino has some slow compilation issues. You can use Platform iOS instead of Arduino because the overall architecture of Platform iOS is very similar to that of Arduino. You can directly port the Arduino code to Platform iOS. Platform iOS compiles faster than Arduino. Of course, Arduino and Platform iOS are both third-party development environments. If you need to use the application scenario, we recommend you to use ESPIDF. Applications developed by ESPIDF will be more efficient. Of course, ESPIDF is for most people. The programming difficulty may be greater than platform iOS and Arduino. Of course, if you are a programming enthusiast or for amateur use, there is no problem using platform iOS or Arduino. There is no problem in some simple application scenarios. Of course, in some extreme conditions, you may need to use or only use ESPIDF. Okay, this video ends here. Thank you for watching.